Based on recent genetic and archaeological studies, the domestication and global dispersal of cats is a more complex, recent, and religiously driven story than previously believed, overturning long-held assumptions. For decades, two main hypotheses existed. The first, based on a 9,500-year-old cat burial in Cyprus, suggested domestication began in the Neolithic Levant alongside early agriculture for pest control. The second pointed to ancient Egypt. New evidence robustly supports the Egyptian origin and reveals a surprising religious motivation. The scale of ancient Egyptian reverence for cats is exemplified by the 19th century discovery of a cemetery containing hundreds of thousands of mummified cats. This practice was linked to the cult of the goddess Bastet, whose depiction evolved from a lioness to a domestic cat-headed figure by the 9th to 7th centuries BC. To supply millions of ritual sacrifices, Egyptians bred cats on a massive scale, selectively favoring more docile and social individuals. This religious breeding is now considered a primary driver of domestication, creating a distinct, human-dependent population from the North African wildcat, Felis libica libica. Crucially, genetic analysis, using nuclear DNA, has debunked the earlier theory that cats spread across Europe with Neolithic farmers around 6,000 years ago. Ancient cat remains from that period in Europe and Turkey belong to the native European wildcat, Felis sylvestris, a separate, undomesticated species. Any genetic similarities are attributed to ancient hybridization between wild species, not early human dispersal. The true arrival of domestic cats in Europe occurred much later, in two waves from North Africa. The first, around 3,000 years ago, brought wild cats to Sardinia. The major wave, responsible for the cat's conquest of Europe, began in the first century CE during the Roman Empire's expansion. Cats with a close genetic affinity to modern Tunisian wildcats spread rapidly, reaching Britain by the second century CE. Their dispersal was facilitated by Roman trade, military movements, evidenced by remains at military sites, and likely the cultural status they inherited from Egyptian religion, which had previously spread to Phoenician, Greek, and Roman cultures. In Asia, a similar story unfolded. Earlier finds of small cat bones in ancient Chinese farming settlements, 5400 to 3500 years ago, were not domestic cats, but a commensal species of wild leopard cat, Prionolurus bengalensis, that exploited rodent pests. This species vanished from the region around 200 CE. True domestic cats, genetically linked to the African lineage, only arrived in China during the Tang Dynasty in the 7th century CE, likely via the Silk Road. This makes the cat one of the last major domesticated animals introduced to China. In summary, the domestic cat's journey was not a single event tied to agriculture, but a multi-stage process. Initial domestication likely occurred in Egypt through religious breeding for sacrifice less than 3,000 years ago. From this core, cats were subsequently spread by ancient Mediterranean civilizations, most effectively by the Romans, and later, via Asian trade networks. Their story underscores the difficulty of studying domestication through bones alone and highlights how human culture, specifically religion and empire, shaped the spread of one of the world's most widespread pets. The fundamental question of why Egyptians initially focused such intense religious attention on cats, however, remains unanswered.